Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 3 power x square divided by 81 power x plus 1 equal to the cube root of 27. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and scan these numbers. Let's focus on this base 81. 81 could be written as 3 power 4 and likewise this 27 could be written as 3 power 3. So therefore this problem could be written as 3 to power x square divided by 3 power 4 and then a whole power x plus 1 equal to the cube root of 3 power 3. Now let's recall this power rule. We are going to apply it on the denominator. So therefore we are going to multiply out these nested exponents. So therefore this equation could be written as 3 power x square divided by 3 power 4 times x plus 1 equals to now let's look at this right hand side this cube root and this cube they undo each other therefore we are ended up with the three on the right hand side now let's recall this quotient rule we are going to apply it on the left hand side so the left hand side could be written as three power x square and then minus four times x plus 1 equal to 3 on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and distribute this negative 4 over here. So this could be written as 3 power x square minus 4x minus 4 equals to and on the right hand side 3 could be written as 3 power 1 and now we can see that our base is uh, on both sides are same so therefore we can equate our exponents as well as you can see in this basic rule so therefore we can write x square minus 4x minus 4 equals to 1 now let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both side this is gone so therefore our left hand side is going to become x square minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. Now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. Therefore let's look at this one. We are going to tweak this part. Negative 4x could be written as negative 5x plus 1x so therefore we can write uh, x square minus 5x plus x minus 5 equal to 0 and now we can see x is in common between these first two terms and 1 is common between these last two terms so therefore let's factor out x we got x minus 5 and then plus 1 common and we got x minus 5 equal to 0 and now we can see x minus 5 is in common therefore we got uh, x plus 1 times x minus 5 equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate them we got x plus 1 equal to 0 and the second equation x minus 5 equal to 0 and over here for the first equation we are going to have x equal to negative 1 and for this second equation we got x equals to positive 5 and now if we plug these both values in this original equation we can see that the left hand side is indeed equal to right hand 
side. Therefore, we conclude that these x equal to negative 1 and x equal to positive 5 are our valid solutions. And here are our solution and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.